Hey, what's up YouTube? Today, I will be making another Weeby.net tutorial and today I will be talking about um, time spent and it shows the date and time difference basically between two dates or two times. Okay, so I got two date time picker over here. I got eight labels. I got six text box and I got one button. Okay, so the button is called button one. The labels are label one, two, three, two, eight. The date time picker one, date time picker two, and six text box with sequence. Text box one to text box six. Okay, now I'll tell you something. This code is given to me by one of my friend on YouTube. His name is Fran SD one two three. I will post his channel link in the description. Please go and subscribe to him as well. And yes, um, okay. So let's begin. In this tutorial, I will basically run through the codes quickly and show you what it does. So if I double click the button one, takes me into the button one. Okay, I got one. It says dim date one as date. So um. The date in this is the date one and this is the date two the start date and the end date okay so start date you choose a date from the date time picker and then suppose it's 10 May which is today and in the end date you choose about 12 May 2010 and in the total number of days it will show you how many 12 minus 10 which is 2 and the total number of hours which is 1440 which I guess is 24 hours oh sorry 24 hours is the total number of hours and total number of minutes is 1440 and seconds is probably I don't know about 3000 something so I will show you how, how it looks like in the runtime first of all so that you get an idea of what I'm trying to show in this video Okay, so we got our program running. We choose the date, suppose let it be 10 May. We make it 12, 12 May. We go find time span, time difference between two dates. And it shows the total number of days, total number of hours, total number of minutes, and the total number of seconds. So, we get two days difference between them, 48 hours difference between these two dates, and 2880 minutes difference between these two dates, and 172,800 800, uh, seconds difference in this, this whole day thing. Okay, so I will show you the codes once again, and we'll see how we go. Okay, so we got one dim date one as date, dim date two as date, dim difference as time span, date one dot equals convert dot two date time, date time bigger one dot value, date two equals convert to a two date time, and in the brackets date time bigger two dot value, that's date one, that's date two, and difference, which is with it's a time span equals date two, which is this date. Subtract date one, which is this date. Okay. Um. So my text box three, which is this text box, and text box four, five, six. Okay. So it text box three dot text equals format number. Now this is this format number. This is a very important part. Um, by using this code over here, you actually get rid of the decimals. And if you want how many how many digits after decimal you want, like if you want two digits after decimal, you put two over here. But I will just make it zero for now. And in the format number difference dot total dates. You can make it days, just days, but it won't give you the accurate, like total number of days. 
this will work but i'll show you how it looks like okay so now we program running we choose 10 and once again 12 may and see how it shows one it just shows how many days elapsed between these two days it doesn't show two in this thing so i'll just close the program and show you the rest of the codings the same goes with diff format number difference dot total hours i'll make it total days once again and the difference dot total minutes comma zero difference dot total seconds zero so i showed you the program and yes the codings will be in the description for you guys to copy and please write comment and subscribe thanks guys